And joining us live for a phone interview is Dr. Choma Eleje, who is a medical practitioner at the University of Benin Tijin Hospital, Benin Edo State, to so take a look at this and many other issues. Good morning, Dr. Choma. Good morning. Now, how do we marry the relaxation of lockdown and the increasing number of positive cases? What worries you the most about, you know, uh, government's decision? Um, okay, it's... It's really sad now what it is. That is what I think. I think it's very sad. Uh, the lockdown, the point is, without people being relaxed, people were already becoming tired and sick. Because common Nigerians were having issues getting what to eat. And the lockdown wasn't helping anything as far as. The Dr. Chama, was. I'm struggling to hear you. Uh, could you move closer to your phone? Okay, can you hear me better now? Much better. Please go ahead. Okay, so people were struggling with their daily bread, and the crisis doesn't really have an expiry date. There's no time where we can say, oh, it's going to be ended by then. So um, it's, it was quite um, inevitable that they were going to relax it eventually. But as to what worries me, I'm worried about the fact that just the main relaxation is like giving room for people to go ahead and be in crowds and do things that will actually engender more spread. That's just the thing. So I think we're going to have more cases, especially because people are going around untested and then people who were already carrying the infection and they were not, they were not um, symptomatic, they're going to go out and be able to spread it to others. Uh -huh. So that is what worries me most. All right. Does this move perhaps give credence to comments that the situation is now beyond the cause for personal responsibility and has moved to survival of the fittest, you know, each man for himself, if you like? Well, <laughs> as regards health in Nigeria, I, I think that it has always been a, a matter of man for him, each man for himself. But there's still... I, and I think both are not mutually exclusive, like saying someone has personal responsibility and then um, saying that it's a matter of survival of the fittest. So um, the thing is, I, they are right when they say that, but then if that each man for himself means that people should just go ahead and disregard preventive measures and everything, that becomes wrong because... It's, I don't know, I think we're very under-equipped to fight this thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it comes down to people doing the right thing and trying to protect themselves and their neighbors and family members, really. Right. All right. While some commend government for not reopening schools, as you do know, others, says, others say it doesn't make much difference because if parents go out and bring the infection back home, or they could also pick it up in church. What do you say in all of this? <sighs> well... It's, it's, it's the same thing, like it's a no-brainer. If I would go to church, it's, it's the students that are going to go to church. It's the same group of people that go to churches, the markets, all the other worship places that they have, you know, reopened. So whether schools are opened or not, it's the same problem. within this, the context of COVID-19 also. How do you see the suspension of the evacuation of Nigerians abroad by the federal government? Well, it made, it made sense at the time. It made sense at the time, but I, I don't know. As I said, we are very uncertain about many things as a country right now, mm -hmm. because if they have lifted lockdown, it's only a matter of time before they release the coffee on interstate travel, and then it's only a matter of time before they relax the suspension of the evacuation. I think what we're acting out of fear and seeing that the thing is lasting long, the government, they don't really have a choice as it is right now. So. All right, Dr. Choma, yes, before yes, yes. I let you go, uh, what should Nigerians bear in mind now as we enter, you know, this second phase easing of the lockdown? What areas well, should we be paying attention to also? Yes. 
What areas should we be paying attention to as Nigerians, even as we move to this new form, the second uh, form of the uh, phased out or eased uh, lockdown? Uh, I think um, we should, first of all, know that there's hope. There's hope. Mm -hmm. It's very sad if all we had were problems without solutions. So uh, first, I think people should know there's hope. And then secondly, I think we should be more sensitive. The reason is because with the lockdown that has been lifted and people going freely on the road, people have to be more careful and observe the precautions that um, have been so discussed and pay attention to preventive measures, avoiding any means of um, contact with people as it were and then use face masks. And unlike before, just be generally more careful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much, Dr. Choma Elijah, for your time. And do keep safe out there, too. Thank you, ma'am.